Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another Captain Abrams tutorial video. Today we are in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, which is uh, very exciting indeed. And I'm going to basically show you uh, the first steps. So, how to actually install the simulator onto your computer. So, firstly, this is uh, based on the Microsoft Store version, so not the Steam version, just to let everyone know about that. So, let's say you've already purchased it on your uh, Microsoft account. I'm going to go to the search bar, simply type in Store. Like that, yeah, you're on the store page. Then go to these three dots up here, and you can go to my library. Then find Microsoft Flight Simulator over here. You want the premium deluxe version. All right, now we're we in this game checked. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to press install. And now we're going to choose our, our disk drive. So, I'm going to install my simulator all on my D drive. So, I'm going to press here and go to my D drive where I have a lot of space remaining. Alright, D drive is selected. Then press install. Here we go. Now we can see that it is now currently going to be installing to our computer when it is downloading. And then I'm going to also show you how to actually get the scenery and the aircraft installed to your computer. Which is uh, done sort of uh, in game. As you can see here, it is uh, downloading all the data. And also, I'm going to get my data to be downloaded to my D drive as well. So, basically, my whole simulator will be running on my D drive because I have X Plane 11 as well. So, X Plane 11 will be on my C drive and that will be on my D drive. I've got the uh, notification saying it's been installed. So as you can see, it has uh, been just installed now on our device. So when you, you get this message, uh, you're going to exit this now. You're going to go back to your search bar and simply write oh, it's over there as well. But if you're not there, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Try it there. And then what you want to do is find the app here and enter it and say yes for this. And then it will load onto your computer, and then we can uh, finish off the setup process. As you can see now, it is kind of loading up. Okay, here we have our introduction to the game. And that there, this is the uh, FPS counter by NVIDIA, so that isn't part of the game. Okay, we're going to finish off the starting uh, slides over here. Okay, now press the key to start, so I'll just press enter. And you have the music playing. Okay, it's loading up. It was very nice from the photo. <laughs> Let's sync our data. Perfect. Okay. Now it's, it's going to load. And now, now it's done loading. We're going to uh, maximize this. So, as you can see, you want to install. So, what I'm going to do, I want, remember, I want it on my D drive, not my C drive. So, I'm going to go to browse. I'm going to make a new folder in this. New folder. I'm going to call it MSFS. 2020. Okay, so make a new folder in the drive. Perfect. Then I'm going to enter this and select that folder. Right, I'm just going to load that in now. So basically, what I'm doing now is I'm going to get it to install uh, the simulator in the MSFS 2020 folder in my D drive. So here, D drive, MSFS 2020 folder. Once that is all set to install, you simply press update, and now it's going to install. 
I have 110 uh, gigabytes to install right now, so that'll take a while. And once it is done, uh, see if it all, all works out. Yep, all downloaded now. Once it is done, I'm gonna uh, we'll finish this uh, tutorial off and see how it installed. So we will be back when this uh, process is done. But right, everyone, as you can see here, that um, it is almost done uh, downloading all the files required. And once it's done, uh, I'll go through what it has downloaded and the uh, photo structures. See you then. Also, just to make sure that this is the uh, premium deluxe version of the simulator. So I'm pretty sure that if you have the uh, standard or the deluxe version, you will have to uh, download uh, less. This is less scenery. So, uh, premium deluxe, you need around 110 gigabytes, but I think standard is like 90 gigabytes. So, yeah, keep that in mind. But right, everyone, we now have the message that the installation is complete. Definitely took maybe three hours for me. I don't know, maybe four, but yeah, definitely took a few hours. So, installation is complete. What we're going to do now is press continue. But before that, so you can see that uh, MSS 2020 20, folder is here. Let me click on it. There are two folders, community and official. I've already got some liveries and soul. If you want to see how to tool them, please let me know. I'll do a tutorial for that too. And here is our official folder. It's going to one store and look, all the scenery has been installed in this folder. So, installing it into a custom location is a lot easier as uh, you have the two folders here. Instead, the other option will be going to uh, this folder, you know, all these different folders here app data, local packages, flight simulator, cache packages, and then you have these two folders. So, I found is installing them in this uh, folder here is a lot easier. We'll get rid of this. Let's go press uh, continue. Also, everyone, uh, making uh, the next tutorial on this will be the setup. So, following the settings and maybe um, and just uh, graphics and sounds. Yeah, so I'll be the next tutorial. You can see now that it has loaded. I mean, we have a lovely photo. <laughs> a little progress bar there. It definitely does take a while for it to uh, load. I'm sure there's like a lot of files just to load and probably why. Alright, so it's finally loaded in and there we go. We can see the home page looks very nice indeed. And there we have it everyone, the uh, Microsoft Simulator of Art Simulator 2020 is now installed on our um, computer over here. Hope you all found that tutorial useful. Uh, the next one will be how to set it up um, to your likings and maybe to your uh, PC uh, notification. So guys, thanks for watching for the tutorial. As always, I hope you um, enjoyed this one and uh, found it useful and I'll see you next time. And have fun with the uh, new simulator.